Hey, welcome back to Beer Geese Beer Reviews. Man, I'm at it today, man. I'm telling you what. Today, I'm going to sit there and go, what? Bam! Sierra Nevada Stout. And I've never had this stout before. I just finally found it not too long ago. Took it out of the refrigerator, left it sit around. You can see all that uh, soaked condensation around the bottle, man. It is very, very hot out today. I'm telling you what, man. It has to be at least in the high 80s. You know, I, I don't know. I haven't... I'm trying to stay out of the heat right now. I was outside all day yesterday and got pretty toasty. Um, oh, there we go. We had some smoke coming out of that bottle there. You know, very light smoke. You can still see it down in there. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it right into this oh, snifter. Like so. I don't know none of the stats on this. I don't know nothing about this. I've never had this before. But here we go. Look at that. Look at that. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and turn this around here. You can see that it is a black hole. Can't see nothing. Not a thing. I, I'm used to getting some like ruby tinges around the bottom or something. This is a nice big black hole. Um, with the head, you're only getting about maybe, well, my fingers, you know, they're kind of tiny, whatever. Um, maybe a pinky's worth of uh, head there. Uh, looks very creamy. It's a light brown color um, to this viscous, this viscous black hole. Man, I'm going to tell you what, there's, I get a production code on the side of the bottle. That's it. What the hell? I'm telling you what, man. They should give, seriously, put a date on the bottle. I don't know how much I could, like, state this. Man, if you can't put it on the bottle, put it back on here on the back of the label. Something, man, damn. Wow, this is actually a pretty, pretty, pretty low ABV stout. It's only 5.8% alcohol by volume. I don't see anything on the IBUs. I don't see anything else printed on this bottle besides what they give you up here. Bam, that's it. And bam, that's it. They don't put crap on their bottles. I'm telling you what. Put a dating code on it. I don't know if I can stress that enough. Anyway. Enough about that. Let's get on to the beer. Beer, like I said, you know, light, light, very, very light brown to a very light khaki color of what is left for the head, big black hole. I can actually see some of the carbonation streaming up the side of the glass right here. Um, whoo, 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 big, 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 big coffee and chocolate notes. Mmm, I can smell them there, that's for sure. Just your traditional stout. I, I don't want to go and say traditional Imperial Russian stout or uh, IRS or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm getting very light on the chocolate when it comes to uh, the flavor. Um, for the most part in the taste, I'm getting very big roasted malt characteristics. I'm getting that... I do get the chocolate. The chocolate is there for the bitteriness and to control your um, your malts. The malts are just the biggest presence to it. I mean, you do get like a coffee note or an espresso note to it. Very, very slight espresso note. Big on like the roasted coffee note, roasted uh, malts. Um, It's a little bit creamy. It's it's a good one, man. I, I'm surprised, you know, that they didn't consider this a uh, RIS or IRS or whatever you want to call it, because um, it it's that's the kind of example that I'm getting from this beer. Um, it is very earthy. It is very, you know, brewed flavors, should I say. They state on here that they actually use whole cone hops for this, but when it comes to whole cone hops, I wonder if they're using uh, Simcoe or, you know, Fuggles or, you know, it's just that kind of, you know, the things that I can think of off the top of my head um, as for, you know, a little tinge on the bittering and a lot on the earthiness. Um, but for that 
what I said, you know, this is a very good one. I, I've never had this, you know, offering from Sierra Nevada, but uh, I will seek it out again, and I'll get it again, man. This is a very good one. If you had it, let me know, man. Come on over, you know, put up a video response or a, uh, you know, a comment. Let me know what you think, man. This is a very good, nice, easy drinking stout, man. Go ahead. Close. Cheers. Deuce. See you on the flip side.